Hong Kong is famous for having some of the best baked goods in the world, and the people in this city love them. They can be seen enjoying them in restaurants, in the office, and even in the air. But if you were to travel back in time, let's say by a few centuries, you'd find most buns back then were steamed. Oven baking just wasn't a thing in Chinese cooking. In this episode of Eat Drink Asia, we'll learn about how buns in Hong Kong went from this to this. Louisa Ho is one of the best people to tell us about the history of Hong Kong's baked goods. She started her baking career back in the 1960s in the UK. Hong Kong's bread is more influenced by which country? More influenced by which country? It should be influenced by Japan and the Soviet Union. So, Hong Kong has never been a country that has been influenced by Hong Kong, 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 by Hong Kong. 呢一派嗰啲咧，佢就叫做誒俄羅斯派。戰爭啊，咁佢哋一個月個咧就逃咗落嚟香港，就自己開鋪頭，咁就帶入咗呢個俄羅斯嘅麵包落嚟香港。日本亦都侵佔咗香港啊，三年零八個月啦。咁佢哋都要食麵包噶嘛，佢要要求香港嘅麵包師傅去做佢個 style 嘅麵包咁樣。咁嘅香港咧就變咗誒。呃多元化嘅一個一個位置，咁啊做咗好多唔同款式嘅麵包出嚟咯。Many of those who have lived through the 1960s might remember how popular Russian restaurants and bakeries were at that time. And if you take a look at some Russian baked goods, it's actually not hard to notice the similarities compared to their Hong Kong counterparts. A type of Eastern European bun named pierogi. Was on the menu of a popular Russian restaurant in Hong Kong called Chanticleer in the 1960s. Pierogi is a bun stuffed with sweet or savory fillings, such as ground meat, mushrooms, or fruit jam. It is very similar to many Hong Kong buns, which are also stuffed with different kinds of fillings, from char siu and tuna to cream and coconut. When you bite into a Hong Kong bun, you may also notice another influence. The sweetness and the fluffy texture similar to that of Japanese milk bread. Hong Kong was a British colony for 156 years, so the influence from Britain is also unmistakable. The variety of tarts, pies, and sandwiches on the shelves of the bakery says it all. Today, Hong Kong bakeries have fully absorbed these global influences and created a unique identity of their own. 有俄羅斯嘅影響啦，有日本嘅影響啦，咁你又講話哦，都有少少英國嘅影響。咁呢幾個包底有邊幾個分類，同埋有咩分別嘅咧？嗯，好好有趣啊！呢、這個問題就，因為咧麵包咧實在咧就係、是呃、最簡單嘅原材料就係麵粉、水、酵母、鹽四大基礎就係呢樣嘅啫。咁由呢四樣嘢咧就演變為一個叫做鹹包餃。一個叫做甜包餃，咁一個叫做光包餃，再有一個咧就係發包餃。只要打曬呢四種包底之後咧，就可以演變為好多款嘅麵包啦。咁你話香港有個特色嘅咧，就係點樣咧？誒，譬如一個餐包，即係呢個火腿蛋包咁樣啦。但係香港包，香港人食嘅咧就要甜包嘅噃，好怪嘅。咁但係咧就變咗咧，如果你去英國咧，你去食鹹嘢咧，一定係鹹包底嘅。但係香港啲人咧特別啲啊，中意食甜包。咁樣咧就變咗咧，乜嘢鹹啊都冇問題嘅，只要用個甜包餃咧，咁就可以做到噶啦。No matter what the filling is, sausage, tuna, char siu barbecue pork, the bun itself is almost always made with a sweet dough. But if I could crown the king and queen of Hong Kong sweet buns, there are no better choices than these two: pineapple bun and cocktail bun. Pineapple bun is now a must-eat food item for most tourists visiting the city. It is uniquely Hong Kong, without a doubt. But the story of its origin is actually quite unclear. 菠蘿包咧係一啲誒後期戰後啊，香港嗰個茶餐廳係好蓬勃嘅。咁啲茶餐廳嗰啲師傅咧就整整麵包，咁啊用咗呢個核桃酥嗰個 concept。咦啊，將可唔可以將核桃酥個表面嗰個皮啊嗰啲咁樣做擺咗落去個麵包上邊嗰度？
，因為佢爆到好似個菠蘿咁樣，所以就叫佢做菠蘿包。根本就係、是、你都知啦，冇菠蘿喺入邊嘅，點解叫菠蘿包咁解咯？<笑> But that is just one of many theories of how the pineapple bun came to be. Some believe it was actually inspired by the Japanese melon pan, which has a very similar appearance and texture. Another theory points to concha, a seashell-like sweet roll from Mexico, which also has a crackly, crunchy shell on top of the bun. To make this even more confusing, many Hong Kong bakeries also sell a bun literally called the Mexican bun. Some believe a Chinese Mexican family moved back to Hong Kong and opened a bakery. They were inspired by Concha and created the Mexican bun in Hong Kong, which in turn might have led to the birth of the pineapple bun. But no matter what the pineapple bun's origins are, it always has a special place in Hong Kong's heart. 誒，朝頭早早餐咧，你食真係好軟熟啊！食起上嚟啊，甜甜地啊，咁個皮又脆啊，咁樣我都好開心噶喎。咁啊，再加咧，香港人咧，而家咧就中意食嗰片咁樣嘅，呢片咁樣嘅誒牛油、菠蘿油、菠蘿油。咁啊，牛油咧，佢鹹鹹地，真係好甜噶噃，好香嗰個牛油味，係金香啊！咁樣，所以咧就係呢個係一定係香港嘅人嘅佢最真最中意嘅麵包。There is another bun that perhaps catches less attention, but was also held dear to many Hong Kongers' hearts: the cocktail bun. Just like the pineapple bun, which does not have any pineapple in it, there is also clearly no cocktail in a cocktail bun. Instead, it is a sweet bun filled with a shredded coconut filling. So how did the bun get its fancy name? Gai mei bao 咧，个名就叫鸡尾啊嘛。咁点解叫鸡尾咧？就系点样咧？以前咧就嗰啲师傅咧就觉得诶头头尾尾啲面包啊，或者头头尾尾啲西饼啊，抌咗佢就好似好大晒咁样嘅。咁然后咧就演化到咧，就将呢啲头尾咧就劈咗落去嗰个机嗰度咧就搞。搞爛咗，咁然後咧就加啲誒椰絲落去，加啲奶粉落去，咁就猜成一啲咧，我哋叫 filling。咁然後咧，面頭咧就做做一個呢個咁樣嘅忌廉，擠上去上邊，咁再揼啲芝麻上去咧，咁就演變為我哋個雞尾包。咁實在咧，呢個咧就係我哋所謂叫環保先鋒啊，係嘛？係啊，演變到一個雞尾包出嚟啦。Cocktail buns nowadays are not made with the cake scraps in the filling anymore, but it shows how bakers in the past made the best use of what they had and created an affordable option that gets people through the day. The humbleness of the bun might have become less appealing nowadays, so we decided to ask some kids who have never tried cocktail buns and see if they like it or not. So, do you know what's inside a cocktail bun? I have a feeling of coconut. No, I don't really like coconut. I taste coconut. I don't really like it. That is definitely coconut. I like it. Maybe they smash the coconut. They Turn smash it into the coconut paste or something. And then they just maybe blend it, put it in the freezer, then just smash it again, and then they just put it inside. What if I told you that the filling used to be made with leftover bread and cakes? Would you still eat it? Yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah? No, probably not. Like, is it? Wait, it's, it's still food. Is this is this old? <laughs> My favorite one is the cocktail bun. Are you ones your favorite? There is one more type of pastry that would be a sin to leave out when we are talking about Hong Kong bakeries: egg tarts. Like Marvel vs DC, Star Wars vs Star Trek, there is also a never-ending debate about Hong Kong egg tarts. It's Team Cookie Crust versus Team Pastry Crust. So which one came first, and which one is actually better? We visited Chef Leung Yu King at the Shang Palace to find out. 其實蛋撻個來源嗰個故仔係點樣開始嘅咧？哇！聽翻啲老師傅講咧，咁其實應該去到二十年代，咁嗰陣時就係、是、誒、呃、西方嗰啲果撻，咁後尾四十年代就流到入去廣州係起源先嘅。咁最嬲尾就係由誒嚟、呃、到香港發揚光大嘅。咁果撻即係點樣樣噶？果撻
我他就應該係誒喺西方嚟俾嗰個谷奇比啦，咁嗰陣時係一啲係上等人嘅食物嚟嘅，嗰陣時就都比較誒係、呃、屬於有錢嘅人嘅誒、呃、享受嘅甜品嚟。咁開頭嗰陣時，究竟蛋撻係酥皮啊定係餅皮㗎？呃、最初嗰時應該係跟翻佢哋嗰個果塔係牛油皮嘅，哦、oh. 啊，咁而跟住就、呃、演變成多一樣酥皮出嚟。The egg filling in both kinds of egg tart is pretty much the same, but the crust makes all the difference. The cookie crust has a harder shell and it tastes like a crumbly, buttery shortbread. The puff pastry crust uses a traditional Cantonese pastry dough. Which creates many airy, flaky layers similar to a croissant. 咁咧，本身咧個果塔咧係用吉士粉噶嘛，同埋如果佢係做酥皮嘅，應該用牛油噶嘛。咁我哋啲誒中國或者香港嘅師傅係用咗啲咩去代替咧？哦，咁因為最初聽聞嗰時，最初早期咧就因為誒牛油同吉士粉比較貴，咁嗰時誒啲師傅覺得誒會用啲豬油去代替。咁後期咧就因為健康啊咁樣咧，我哋開始慢慢咧就加入啲牛油去中和翻，就減少啲豬油嘅成分。哦，即係而家嗰啲就好少係純豬油㗎啦。嗯。咁誒吉士粉咧用咗啲咩去代替咧？我哋嘅蛋撻唔係吉士嘅喎。誒、呃，咁我哋啲都係用真材實料啦，用雞蛋啦，咁<笑>啊開糖誒、呃、糖水啦，咁我哋會雞蛋同糖水兩樣溝埋，咁我哋就中一個俾一個比例，咁逐出嚟咧就唔偏。唔會淨係得雞蛋太結啊，或者太厚啊咁樣，唔夠滑啦。咁所以呢個比例我哋要做翻。我想問啦，嗱，酥皮同埋餅皮咧，就好似係你中意張國榮啊，定係中意譚詠麟多啲嘅比喻嚟嘅？啊，譚詠麟、張國榮兩個都咁受歡迎嘅，咁<笑>睇個人個人佢喜好啦。有啲人中意食誒牛油皮嘅曲奇皮個脆，酥皮咁有啲人食。咁就因為佢酥酥比較層次感，咁其實兩樣都有人喜歡咯。咁正常嚟講，如果誒、呃、懷舊啲嘅，當然食牛油皮啦。哦，懷舊反而係、啊、因為牛油皮係最早期嗰陣時咁。Chef Lau might be a little cautious to not offend either side of the egg tart debate. No matter which version of egg tart you prefer, the twins remain the most iconic duo among Hong Kong pastries. In the past, Hong Kong bakeries learned from different cultures and developed their own identity. This has not stopped today. Maxim's Cake started as a bakery in the 1960s. It is now one of the largest bakery chains in the city with over 160 locations. With over three decades of experience, Chef Wong is leading the brand to invent creative baked goods. Wang Xiaofu, can you tell me how to enter the bakery? Very good. 跟誒、呃，我都係喺啲誒日式嘅麵包鋪嗰度做學徒咯。開頭梗係做啲低下階層嘅嘢啦，清潔啊、執拾啊嗰啲嘢會多啲咯。師傅見你做得好嘅，咁佢就會俾啲製作麵團啊，或者焗嘢嘅嘅嘅機會俾你咯。因為我都係叫紅富仔出身㗎啦，係啊。咁入門第一個做出嚟嘅包係咩包嚟嘅？第一個做出嚟嘅包應該係腸仔包，因為腸仔包會有啲翹咗個腸仔喺裡面嗰啲咯。嗰陣時一日都要翹二百個腸仔包，咁、那、嗰個速度我哋都要跟住啲師傅。你覺得香港人對食麵包嘅情懷咧，係個關係係點樣樣嘅咧？我覺得係一個早餐嘅文化咯，因為、呃、香港人翻工啊、翻學啊，比較趕，落樓下買個麵包加杯嘢飲，就誒趕住去翻工、翻學，係一個好方便、好快脆嘅一個一個習慣。Maxims offers classic breakfast options such as sausage buns, pineapple buns, and cocktail buns. They also draw inspiration from other cuisines and bring out new creations, like this takoyaki bun and baked potato bun. Hong Kong Hong Kong 咧，其實進化好快。咁你攞靈感嗰個主要嗰個精神咧，係誒你點樣界定嘅咧？係咪真係興乜就係追求啲乜嘢嘢？我哋會睇下個成個市場或者其他國家興緊啲乜嘢。
，我哋都會將佢演化成香港人適合嘅產品。譬如話，我哋可以將誒章魚小丸子啦，擺落個麵包裏面啦。可能我哋分開兩部分嘅一個餡料嘅嘅變化。我哋會將唔同國家誒興緊嘅餡料，我哋會放喺個麵包裏面。第二個嘢就係將個造型做到一個仿真咯。因為就係因為試新嘢個精神就好高，尤其是食包，因為朝朝都食。香港人個追求嗰個新嘅產品又好，或者新嘅食法都好，變化真係好快。所以我哋公司都會盡量會誒配合翻香港人嘅口味，去唔同一個月出。一至兩款新嘅產品。Baked goods in Hong Kong are constantly innovating, but at the same time, there are also many classics which Hong Kongers are absolutely proud of. And there is always a personal favourite from your childhood, the one that gives you a warm and nostalgic feeling. It is probably one of the most intimate foods to the people of Hong Kong.